so it's on now. Mm -hmm. So my name is Dr. Robert Woodbine, and this is just a uh, demonstration of a peak eight um, high intensity interval training routine that incorporates um, uh, a few elements. One is, um, as you can see down here, is the Art of Strength uh, Battle Rope, which is a 55 foot length of rope. It's two inches uh, in diameter. Um, and I'll be using that as part of the, the high-intensity interval training routine. Um, over here is a 50-pound kettlebell. So that will be part of the routine. I also have a, a Vulcan 20-pound slam ball, which I'll be using as part of the routine. And if I survive, then I'll also in a 26 to 30 pound um, Bulgarian heavy bag, uh, which is uh, made by Sukas. So this is a 20 pound, uh, 26 pound, 30 pound uh, Bulgarian heavy bag made by Sukas. Um, the high intensity interval training it consists of eight intervals. Uh, which are each comprised of 30 seconds of continuous activity at high intensity and then a 90 second rest period in between. Um, so ideally you want to do eight repetitions of that. Um, so we'll get started. I have my uh, trusty gym boss, um, which is already set. second uh, rest period so you want to make sure you hydrate one of the major benefits of the high intensity interval training is that it takes your body past the anaerobic threshold and helps you to promote your own human growth hormone uh, without any of the negative side effects of uh, doing anabolic steroids. It also helps reduce your own testosterone and uh, obviously it gets your heart rate up as you can see in here. Um, most importantly, I'm just looking at the watch so I'm getting ready to start another set here. Uh, I'll continue talking after I finish this one. So this is the kettlebell. And these are kettlebell swings. When you do it correctly, you should be able to let go of the kettlebell at its apex because you're not using your arms, you're using your hip flexors and the posterior chain muscles. So the posterior chain are all the muscles from the soles of the feet, along the back of the legs, the thighs, the glutes, 
paraspinalis muscles all the way to the base of the skull. Uh, it really gets the core, which is not just the anterior, but also includes the hip flexors, the glutes, lower back muscles. Most of us think that it's primarily the front, but it's all of this. So the next tool that I'm going to use in the high intensity interval PK routine is the slam ball. And that's great for upper body strength, as well as the core and the legs, but it's primarily upper. That was a slam ball. You could use any single tool and do all eight intervals just using that one tool, like just the kettlebell or the ropes or the slam ball or the bag. I like to combine them because that way you're getting a whole body workout. When you're in your resting period, don't do this. It's a potential formula for a heart attack. So when you stand upright, breathe deeply. Make sure you hydrate. So I'm not going to use the superless Bulgarian heavy bag and just do some swings with that. What's great about the Bulgarian heavy bag is that similar to the uh, battle rope, it has a pretty thick grip. Uh, so you have to use, it, it actually helps develop your, your grip strength. And if you're not aware of it, Anything that you're doing with your hands helps to develop the core. So the thicker the grip, the more core development. So the ropes are two inches. This is more like one and a half in diameter. So that was four sets. We're halfway there. And I'm now going to resume in about 15 seconds 
to going back to the rope. <coughs> So this is a two inch grip, so it's really working your core. I can make it. This workout is a little more challenging because I usually don't talk in between. But today I'm sacrificing your comfort my comfort for your benefit so I can I'm talking I'm using up my O2 so I'm going to switch back to kettlebell in about 30 seconds get to the kettlebell long before you need to swing it so you don't hurt yourself and again it's the hip flexors that are doing the work not my arms I think I might make it. So coming up next is the slam ball again. And you can do it in any order, it doesn't matter. You can even mix it up, just so you don't get bored. Trying to slam it down as hard as you can.
Now that, boys and girls. It's a high intensity interval training based on Dr. Mercola's peak eight routine. Obviously, you want to warm up really well before you do any of this. You're not required to do all eight the first time you try it. It has a cumulative benefit over time. So if you find when you first start out that you're only able to do one or two or three, three reps of the whole eight, that's perfectly fine. Over time, you'll uh, develop the capacity to do all eight. The benefits are cumulative, so you're not losing anything by not being able to do all eight the very first time. Um, Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always go to my website, www.urbanchifoundation.org. That's U R B A N Q I foundation.org. Look forward to hearing from you and stay tuned for some more uh, videos. Thank you.